I am not a professional in transmissions. There are several things in this video I did incorrectly. This video was designed to reference for reassembly. The transmission is a 6T45 out of a 2010 Chevrolet Equinox. Do not use power tools on this transmission. If you do use power tools, at least break loose the bolts before using power tools. First, remove the valve body side cover by removing the 13 bolts that's holding it on. Before disassembling the transmission, you should drain all the fluid by removing the drain plug. And then cleaning the outside of the transmission will prevent gunk and dirt from getting inside the transmission while disassembling. Now simply remove the cover by pulling it now that the bolts are out. First dis disconnect the output speed sensor which is the top right connector. Then disconnect the shaft position switch connector which is the bottom right connector. Then disconnect the input speed sensor connector which is on the left side. Disconnect these connectors and move them out of the way first to prevent breaking them. There are only 15 bolts that need to be removed to remove the control unit assembly. Do not remove all the bolts. Looking in the top left of the video you can see the 15 bolts are circled with green circle. It is recommended that you disconnect the connectors from the valve control unit before unbolting the bolts. It just makes it easier. First, we are disconnecting the output speed sensor, which is the top right connector. Now we are disconnecting the shaft position switch, which is the bottom right connector. Now we are disconnecting the input speed sensor, which is the bottom left connector. We should have done this already. Now the control unit assembly is removed, now it's time to remove the valve body. Remove the control unit assembly filter plate, which is the black thing, and discard it. Replace it before reassembling the transmission. Now it's time for the valve body. It's time to unbolt the valve body. It's very important that you only remove the bolts that need to be removed. There's a red X on one of the bolts. That red X actually holds the two pieces together. So leave that one in so the ball bearings don't fall out. You can actually see us removing the bolt that I said we do not want to remove. And later in the video, you'll see that the two pieces do come apart. So do not take this bolt out. It just creates a lot more trouble.
think this is um Do another one come out? Yep. Oh, watch. I go in those holes in there somewhere. Ah. Three. Now remove the single bolt that's holding the input speed sensor in and remove the input speed sensor assembly.